Half of Madagascar's life forms are found in its rainforests, which are located on the far eastern side of the island. The call of the Indri represents the rainforest wildness. In the rainforest, 70 to 90 percent of its species exist in the trees, not on the forest floor. In the national parks, the rivers run wild and are not used for rice production. It's Madagascar, so 90 percent of the rainforest species are endemic. The brilliant Suramunga sunbird sits on the traveler's palm, the emblematic Sterlitzia of Madagascar. And African black swifts are really swift. Of the many species of lemurs in Madagascar, the six species of bamboo lemurs have the most restricted diet. This golden bamboo lemur eats the endemic giant bamboo and prefers the bases of young leaves and new shoots, which are not eaten by other bamboo lemurs. The problem here is the bamboo, while rich in protein, contains high levels of cyanide. The amount eaten by this lemur would kill a person. Bamboo lemurs have evolved a digestive system that neutralizes the poison. This greatly reduces competition from other animals. Fortunately, bamboo is plentiful. This velvet acidy eats fruit just below the lemur. The discovery of this golden bamboo lemur led to the establishment of Ranofama National Park in 1991. Territories of the golden bamboo lemur can be up to 30 hectares, but most individuals don't travel more than 400 meters in a day. This elephant-eared chameleon, like many chameleons, changes its color according to its mood. Not sure if this is happy color or mad color. The giraffe weevil, guess what, is endemic to Madagascar. The male's neck is two to three times longer than that of the females. One of the nice things about Madagascar is that there are no really venomous snakes to worry about. Here we find a forest water snake out and about hunting frogs. Ponds are always good places to find wildlife. And here we see a Madagascar wagtail hopping from lily to lily looking for insects. The diversity of lemurs in the rainforest is outstanding. Sifakas are a group of lemurs that are diurnal and arboreal. The Diadema sifaka is the second largest lemur and is restricted to rainforest. They live in groups of eight or more in home ranges of 25 to 35 hectares in forest fragments and 60 hectares in continuous forest. Their territories are defended by scent marking and occasionally by fights. Their diet is primarily mature leaves, fruits, fruit seeds, and flowers. Darwin's spider is famous for having the strongest silk in the natural world, and that's stronger than steel by weight. The agricultural frontier continues to eat away at the country's remaining rainforest. The national parks have great trails, and the local guides are exceptionally good at finding wildlife. Madagascar's pandanus plants are some of the most unique in the world. The black and white ruffed lemur is one of the few species that's easy to see in a sea of green. This species is found in lowland and mid-elevation rainforest. It can survive in forest fragments, which is important since deforestation continues uncontrolled. Despite this, its populations have declined massively 
and is now extremely endangered. The black and white roughed lemur is active only in the day and spends most of its time in the canopy. Multi-male and multi-female groups of four to nine are territorial. Oh look, there's a Madagascar white eye. They are territorial and their home ranges are 100 to 150 hectares, which is quite large. Feather maintenance is essential for survival. Seventy-five to ninety percent of its diet is fruit with smaller amounts of nectar, flowers, and leaves. However, they just love nectar and even drink the nectar of Traveler's Palm, which should be called Traveler's Tree since it's not a palm at all. This Suramanga sunbird loves its nectar too. The Madagascar pygmy kingfisher has a flashy bill and the large collared nightjar sits quietly on the forest floor until nightfall. This young Parsons chameleon seems to be in a hurry. These crane flies are mating. The rainforests of Madagascar are blessed with high frog diversity. Dwarf lemurs are squirrel-sized nocturnal lemurs. Not so long ago, only two species were recognized, but with modern taxonomic techniques, there are now seven species. The dwarf lemurs are the only primates that accumulate fat reserves and then go into a state of torpor during the winter. This one is the furry-eared dwarf lemur. Here, a blue-legged chameleon shows off its color chain. Goodman's mouse lemur is tiny and cute. Unbelievably, this species was first discovered in 2005. As in any rainforest, there are amazing big animals and amazing small animals. This weevil that has tremendous camouflage is probably in the genus Lyxus. Its mating behavior is simple, but successful. The many species of pandanus give the Madagascar rainforest its special look. And talking about special, the Milne Edward Sifaka is an amazing lemur. The Milne Edward Sifaka lives in groups of three to nine in middle to high elevation rainforest. As with many lemur species, the female is dominant within the group. Populations vary, but within the national park there may be eight individuals per square kilometer. They eat leaves, fruits, seeds, and flowers. Remarkably, they can eat the parts of 25 plant species in one day. In the spring, they prefer the new leaves and shoots that have more protein. They also will come to the ground to feed on soil, which probably gives them vital trace elements and or helps detoxify poisons gained from eating certain plants. Their territories are large, about 50 hectares, and they don't overlap with other groups. Both sexes scent mark, which has two functions. It defines their territory and provides information on the status of other members of the group. The blue kua is an omnivore and eats insects, fruits, and small reptiles. It's a common bird in the rainforest. And here's a plant that eats insects too, the Madagascar pitcher plant. The lined day gecko can't be missed. And on the contrary, 
This eastern tree boa has great camouflage. And here is a common Newtonia. Millipedes are common animals of the rainforest, but usually they're not so colorful with this great combination of yellow legs with a red body. Charismatic is a good word to describe the largest living lemur, the Indri. Curiously, the home range of the Indri coincides that with one of the tribes of Madagascar, whose name for the Indri means father of man. The Indri inhabits lowland to mid-altitude rainforest in both primary and secondary states. Populations are low, with about 23 individuals per square kilometer, with groups living in territories of 17 to 40 hectares. Their hallmark call maintains their territories. It can be heard as far as two kilometers away. It's another diurnal lemur that lives in small groups of two to six. The female is dominant, which among other perks means she has first pick of the food resources. Food is mostly young leaves and whole fruits with some flowers. Soil is eaten too. Even the cockroaches are pretty here. The periwinkle is used locally for herbal medicine and two cancer drugs have been derived from it. The giant swallowtail just wants its nectar. The levels of adaptive coloration never cease to amaze. This mossy leaf-tailed gecko must get some sort of evolutionary prize. I swear he's right there. But of course, at night, he's a little easier to find. 